So in this video, I am going over the notebooks that I have. I am like sitting on a stool on. So a little easier than sitting cross-legged. Now, the prices of these do vary. If you have gotten like at the dollar store, Michaels, Walmart, a few bookstores. So I'm just going to go randomly through them. If I have anything in them, I will tell you what they are. So this one just says journal and it's got that marble effect. I will also tell the company that made it if you're interested. And that you got a slightly darker marble effect on the page linings. This one comes with a white gray kind of ribbon. This one is a Think Ink journal. This one is the Artist Loft lined lined one by Artist Loft that you can find at Michael's. I use this one for book reviews that I've a lot of the book reviews in this one are from NetGalley. A few other ones are from Kobo and etc. Why the bottom is looking a little more thicker is because I put like washi tape and stickers at the bottom. And I like uh, the notebooks that have this elastic because if you do what I do, it's a little easier to contain. And this one comes with two ribbons, a blue one and one gray one with a white stripe going down the middle. This one, I forget the brand name. Well, it's not the brand name, but I got it at Dollarama. And it's got like a wood kind of texture. And I know there was, there, uh, was a lighter brown, like a tan color of this. And what I like about this one, you got a little pocket and kind of like, not ribbon kind of thing, but almost paper-like cardboard there. And this one comes with a ribbon marker and the elastic. This one is kind of almost a hodgepodge kind of thing. There's book reviews. Uh, there's a few lists, book-related lists, uh, YouTube Pagan challenge notes, travel notes in there. This one is Carton Supplies. Carton Supply. The Walmart that, not the Walmart, the Michaels that I go to, uh, clearance, there's one out. These books out. Um, this is grid format so if you like if you're a person that can get your hands on these and do like more of the grid for like say bullet journal, bullet journal journaling this if you can get your hands on these they're pretty good and it's crazy crossed out brilliant ideas but there is a downside to these ones because they do bleed through because they're a very thin paper. And crease-wise, the further you go in, a few, like, I say, like, the page that I'm opening up to, I can't use, like, the last, like, three ones because of the way it's being, like, creased. And opened a few uh, amounts of times because like that used to be like all white right there now this one is pulp public cum art I and it comes with like this one is from Frost by Johann Wolfgang 
on gold. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. I got this one because I saw like a shadow puppet of, of this at German school one year and I got that because it reminded me of it. There are other covers which would have one of these like quotes on it like dreams do come true if only you wish hard enough the moment you doubt whether you can fly you cease forever to be unable to do it never say goodbye because goodbye means going away and going away means forgetting and that's Peter Pan and they have other quotes like little red riding hood right there I'm using this one as information uh, for like Bavaria because I do plan on going there within the next year or two. This one is Discover Your Dreams and it has like the compass on there. Map kind of thing. And this one is by Markings by C.R. Gibson. So Markings.com and I have a few of these ones. So I, I like these ones. This one comes with like with a ribbon and this one I am like list of like 2018 goals, what books I read, blog posts I've written. This one is also by Markings. Inner Workings and you got like Cogs and Gears. I have two of these. One is just project like video ideas that aren't book related. This one is just like random lists like my Ludwig book project, uh, travel bucket list, some other like list of books to get from the library, what I want to get from the chapters and stuff, so there's that. Uh, this one is by Moleskin. this is my first Moleskin book, and it's a uh, limited edition Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, it's got the elastic cover. And you got a little shadow of Snow White there. Yeah, it's lined. And then this one you have a pocket as well. And it comes with a few stickers. And then you got her holding the apple right there. So there's that one. Oh, this is another Marquine's notebook. It's just a little kind of leather looking, feeling gray world, domination ideas. That's another ribbon. This one, the next one is, this one's a little more personal, so it's not, I'm not going to show you the insides, but it is a ribbon. It is also by, no, it's Think Ink. So designworksinc.com. Uh, there's a little gray thing, so it's just a few things that I have either a reading, like readings I've purchased or things I've gotten that I've found meaning in and have written my own stuff. Same with this one. This I found at the dollar store at a random dollar store that... It's not like commercially owned. It and Downtown Selectrum is the brand of that one where I do my tarot readings. This one is also Think Ink. It's like a mint teal kind of thing. Another band kind of gold ribbon in there and it's a big honking thing. This one is by Indigo Paper. Don't forget to be awesome today. Two purple ribbons. And this is just another book of where I keep lists. Doll, another dollar store purchase. Things are gonna get really good. So, elastic. This is where I keep some recipes. 
ribbon. This one I got as a present a few years back. Ribbon, ribbon, and some information is kept in that one. This one is also another lined. No, this one is a grid by Artist Loft. It's a kind of a darker pink with the ribbon clasp and the two ribbons in there. These next four are the Studio brand by Dollarama. They look like that. Each have a fla like flowers in them. And you got like black pieces of paper in there and then this is what kind of the insides look like. This one is Marquine's. This one's a slightly smaller one. Lined jottings and a red ribbon in there. Uh, this one is from Michael's. Lined uh, leave your fears behind book. Uh, next three are also from Michael's I picked up. La this one's lined, let your adventures begin, and you got that like watercolor kind of feel going on. And these ones are three more of the carton supplies grid journals. Oh, that one's polka dot. The dot. So like these two are the grid and these are, this one's the dot. This one I found at like Home Sense Marshall's Road Tripping Travel Journal includes travel quotes. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. There's some random imagery in there. So, but like the brand is Equolo World Traveler. Okay, so. Uh, this is a uh, from 1917. So the classic index date. Uh, two ribbons. You got the pocket at the back with the stickers as well. In that one. Uh, another. Marquine's one, can't really see it in this light, but there's like towers and these are like the on lights. This one I kind of like, I got this one at Bookmarks down in Halifax. So it kind of flips from on nuts to roll with it. So. I found that one cute. Uh, this one's a markings book. Little, I don't know what that pattern is, but there's that and journal. It comes with one ribbon. And that's what the inside looks like. And you got that at the top of that page and at the bottom there. And this one is another indigo paper one. And just a large book, two ribbons. That noise is the washi tape. And this is a larger one of the first book I showed you. And it's Think Ink. And this one is has one ribbon in it. I kind of like the idea of having a ribbon in a notebook like these because you know where you are and like depending on how big it is one or two would work so those are the notebooks that I have and you can get good looking notebooks from one dollar to between 
up to $30 depending on what brand you get and where you get it. Because like the Moleskins and Lactorum 1917 can go up to $25 to $30. And some of the books that you can get at Walmart and Chapters can go that much. But I did find all of like all of these under twenty dollars because I did wait because I did find them on sale. So <laughs> I don't think I've purchased them like full price. Well, this one, yeah, a few of them, yeah, full price because I got them at Walmart and they were under fifteen dollars. So yeah, because like this was this is like. $12.13.97, so about $15. So yeah, you can find good looking notebooks if you want that kind of notebook. You can just go for a spiral $1 one if you want. But if you want nice looking ones, I guess, and put that money in, there's a few different brands that I showed you right here that you can have that look at look appeal for between one and thirty dollars a number of these I have gotten under ten dollars under fifteen so happy readings